guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you a healthy cookie recipe, oatmeal chocolate chip. Right around this time of the year, it gets hard to eat right and stay on track. I get it, you still wanna enjoy the holidays. Girl, I don't know. So no better way to do that than to find healthier versions of the foods that you love. So I found this really dope recipe online, which we'll be making today. I've never made it before, so we're gonna find out how it, how it comes out, you know? I'm gonna be real with you, I don't know. So uh, I'll have the recipe linked down below though, so you can reference it or save it. But before I begin, please do subscribe if you're not already for new videos every single week. Let the holiday vibes begin. All right, guys. Okay, so this recipe is pretty straightforward and easy. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need some one minute like quick oats, whole wheat flour, honey, vanilla flavoring extract, baking powder, two tablespoons of butter. So we got a stick of butter here. Dark chocolate chips. We are going healthier, like I said, so you can get regular chocolate chips, semi-sweet, whatever, but dark chocolate is definitely better for you. It's good for your heart, actually, your brain. So, dark chocolate chips. This one is made with 48% cocoa, so almost half of it is straight cocoa, then the other half would be like cane sugar. This actually doesn't have any regular table sugar in it, just cane sugar, so a lot healthier version. Gonna need one egg. We're gonna need ground cinnamon, kosher salt, which I don't know why, I'm just gonna use my pink Himalayan salt. I don't know, it might not be a problem, it might. This is what I'm using, whatever. Okay, so this recipe calls for parchment paper on your pan. I don't have any. I'm just gonna go it out and see how it goes. One cup of quick oats three quarter cups of whole wheat flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Can I even get it in there? One and a half. <laughs> this says scant, <laughs> scant half teaspoon of kosher salt. <laughs> Just do three cracks. God, I don't feel like looking it up either. I don't feel like looking up what scant means. <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. One, two, three, one for good luck. Good. All right, guys. I never said I was good at this. Hope you didn't come in this video thinking I was all that. I'm not. Here we go. Here's our dry ingredients. Just gonna mix it up. Put this to the side and now Let's work on the wet ingredients, shall we? Two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt this up real quick and then let it cool. Okay, so the butter's melted and there's like none in it. Two tablespoons is nothing. So that makes me feel a lot better about this recipe. <laughs> so we got mostly like just healthy ingredients and very little butter, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool. Mm, one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, that smells so good, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Let's put in our egg. I know you like how I crack that. I'm good like that, right? Okay, so now we need a half a cup of honey. Let's see how long this takes here. Okay, so this is basically the, other than the dark chocolate chips, this is the only form of sugar in these cookies, so that's good. I'd rather it be a natural sugar than just table sugar. Table sugar, heck no. Ooh, look at all that honey. Okay, so it says you're supposed to whisk in the honey. So I'm just using a fork. Okay, and I think our butter is pretty cooled, so I'm gonna add that in. Yes. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna grab the dry ingredients and add in the wet ingredients here. Okay, and mix it up with a wooden spoon. Yay. Okay, last step is to add in the chocolate chips. I'm just gonna go based off of what I think might be good. What do you think, babe? Keep going, girl. Really chocolatey? I'll say when. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. 
It looks super, right off the bat, I can tell it looks super like hardy. It's actually mad good. No. Mm-hmm. Want one? Nah. You can taste the cinnamon. I think it's pretty good. It's a heartier cookie. It's not like, hmm, I think it's good. I think it'll be good. We gotta let it either cool in the fridge for a half hour or 15 minutes in the freezer. 15 minutes in the freezer. That's what I'm going with because I'm trying to get this show on the road. And I wanna try these. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. Don't go nowhere. So they didn't really budge that much, which is good. That's how you know, they're healthier. They kind of maintained their consistency. They smell really good, they smell like cinnamon and they come right off so good. Either the butter worked or whatever. But yeah, I guess you don't really need parchment paper. Ta-da, healthy chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. Yeah. Now it's time to try them. That's the real test. Are you ready, Beck? Let's do it. You're gonna get in this with me, and we're gonna we're gonna try them together. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right, guys. So now's the true tester. We're gonna try these cookies out. I got my little gingerbread, <laughs> and we're gonna put some milk in because I love milk with my cookies. This is just silk almond milk. It's not real milk. It's soy milk. Good enough, and it's delicious because it's creamy and it's got high protein in it. So we're good. Okay, are you ready, Bay? I was born ready, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Happy holidays, y'all. Happy Christmas. <laughs> so good. They're actually amazing. They are good. Yeah, I'm only kidding. These are really good. I really, really like them. They're good. I really, really like them. I got nothing. They're good. You can definitely taste they're healthier, of course. They're not just like a soft baked chocolate chip cookie, but you know what? This is more, I swear, this tastes like a muffin. Mm hmm Yeah. Like mm -hmm. a chocolate chip muffin. Mm-hmm. Mmm, look how hearty this is, really. It's thick. Look how thick this is. Mm -hmm. You can taste the cinnamon in here. Mm -hmm. I dig it. I would definitely make these again. Mm -hmm. Trust me when I say, if these were regular cookies, I'd be probably shaking and having like weird feelings going through my body. Yeah. This feels right. This feels healthy and it tastes healthy. You can taste the difference between this and a regular cookie. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this tastes like something that I would buy at a store that would be super expensive. <laughs> really. Yeah. Like these would probably run like 20 bucks at Whole Foods. But it's really great that you can make them here at your house. Again, guys, I will leave the link down below if you want to make them for yourself. If you guys like the classic chocolate chip cookie, like Nabisco type, it's a soft, chewy, like that standard cookie, you wouldn't like this straight up. Um, but if you are like a health nut and you're, you're seriously looking for a healthy alternative, this is definitely it, I would say. This definitely fits like every criteria, I would say. Yeah. It tastes real. Mm -hmm. It tastes kind of like, or it has earthy. a little earthy, yeah. It's got that earthy taste, yeah. But that's because of the oats. The oats. A little bit of cinnamon in there. My God, what mm -hmm. is this? I'm going on, cookie number six. How many do yeah. you have? Yeah, one, I think. <laughs> um, they are very soft. They're not crunchy. They're not hard or anything like that. They're not, they're not messy. So, very, very soft. So, two thumbs up, and I would definitely make it again. Oh, yeah. No All problem. Right. Thanks. I'm going to go drink this milk. He's going to devour the rest of the cookies. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video.